it was yesterday south sudan and tanzania number plates were visibly deployed this creates unnecessary tension and conflict between our country and these federal countries and our people against the people of tanzania and southern sudan as police battle our people on the streets they have also taken over the corridors of justice in our courts we saw police attacking families of people seeking justice in court we saw honorable babu owino being abducted and ferried away from court corridors after being released on bail we saw the media being attacked and chased from court corridors as they did their job of informing the world of developments in the country as mere readers are being put at the house arrest constant surveillance and persistent threat of being arrested we demand the unconditional release of all the Azmir readers and supporters who are still being held in communicado. These developments also happen against the backdrop of constant verbal and warranted that their tribe against Uhuru Kenyatta, the fourth president of Kenya, and Luto's boast for 10 years from 2013 to 2022 August. The withdrawal of security of his mother, Mamangena Kenyatta. The attack on his son, Jomo, by uniformed police, claiming to be police, and the attack and vandalization of the Kenyatta family, Northrad's farm. These are all acts of grave provocation, not only to Uhuru Kenyatta and his family, but also to all right thinking Kenyans. Clearly, Ruto has for all intent and purposes suspended the constitution of kenya and is following his whims we shall not watch helplessly as luto and his cronies completely dismantle the republic of kenya as set up by our constitution we shall not surrender our rights including the right to life dignity and the right to peaceful protest we shall not surrender our voices or agency we shall fight for our rights as we have fought for them before and our fathers and as our fathers for fought for them before last we call on all right thinking members of society to rise up and be heard let us all say enough is enough William Luto and his illegitimate regime must listen to Kenyans. All these actions by police undermine the rule of law and the constitution. These actions point to the emergencies of a police state in Kenya. However, these actions that have left scores of Kenyans dead have earned police praise from William Luto. We wish to make it clear that our people will not surrender or be cowed. We further make it clear that we will pursue no engagements with Kenya Kwanzaa whatsoever until these hostilities and their perpetrators are apprehended. We remain determined to right the wrongs being inflicted on our people, including state induced high cost of living. Our peaceful countrywide demonstrations will continue next Wednesday. We are serving notice to all the OCSs across the country for the Wednesday peaceful demonstrations. In the meantime, the signature collection, which now starts at 8 million, continues. Thank you very much. Sounds fun.